One. This is Innuendo Bingo. Welcome to another exciting round of Innuendo Bingo. And today we are joined by Catherine Ryan. Hello. Hello, it's me without it's eyelashes. You. Well, you're prepared for this, aren't you? Mm. You were saying that you didn't put on too much makeup today. You gentlemen bravely leave the house without makeup almost every day. <laughs> well. So why shouldn't I? This is Innuendo Bingo. All right, then let's load our waters up for the okay, first clip. Here we go. Here we go. Catherine Ryan, Innuendo Bingo on Radio 1. Now we're starting over at BBC Radio 2. And it's early breakfast presenter Vanessa Feltz, who is delighted another listener is tuning in from between the sheets. V, I just mm. bought myself a new rabbit, and I cannot wait to take it up the back garden. <laughs> Small dribble there from Chris. Nothing much to report. Catherine, still dry. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel that the listener may have texted that in and knew what they were doing. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, we're now going over to Country Files Winter Garden. And it seems one particular plant can still perform even in this cold weather. So when you are thinking about planting up a pot, there are the three golden rules. Okay. You need to have a plant that thrills, yeah. plants that spill and have come over the edge, and also plants that fill. So here we've got a Saka Cocker. <laughs> 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 Mm. It's not been on for a while, that plant. Oh. Scott, is that a relative of the soccer cocker hookrianus that same. we've had before? It's the same. So here we've got a soccer cocker. It's good to have it back. Mm. I liked that one. He sounded very serious. He mm. sounded like he would have been very upset to be featured on well, him. Yeah, yeah, so I enjoyed it. I didn't laugh, but I was serious. happy that he, mm. he okay. walked right into that. That's the thing. You're enjoying them at the moment. Mm. I can tell. I can see your eyes They're lovely. Light yeah, yeah. Just, mm. And I'm thirsty We're not spitting well. levels yet. Okay, next we're going to match of the day. And in his last interview as Leicester City manager, it seems Claude Puel mm. might have been taking his eye off the ball. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Uh, fans uh, worry that uh, this is. Um, I understand. I understand this. Most important thing uh, is to um, to see my play with a good reaction. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And we're in the game. <laughs> yeah, right? what, what is he talking about? I don't know. To Wait. see my player with a good direction. Good direction? Good direction. direction. To see my player with a good direction. I don't think he is saying that. That's the thing. Well, I that's don't even know if that is an innuendo. Listen, I'm not a football fan, but I know what goes on. I know about the towel slapping yeah. and the initiations. Sure. I wasn't surprised by that. Straight no. up erection. I was surprised mm. by getting spat on, so I Sorry. spat back. Yeah. I had to get in the game, Chris. Yeah. That is the game. Come on, we're in now. Soak him. I can tell you didn't have eye makeup on. I just went for it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. go for it, Catherine. He does this a lot. Okay, now we're going to this morning, and in you and a bingo regular, Eamon Holmes, <laughs> and it seems that he's caught one of the reporters in a, a compromising position. Well, let's go to Tom Rayner. He broke this story for us this morning. He's in a man in Jordan. <laughs> Oh, I've done oh, oh, myself. You wet yourself. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> Capsule of Jordan there, of course. He's what? in a man in Jordan. Oh, and why not? Yes. That extra yeah. layer of yeah. being in a man yeah. in yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Right, see? Yeah. Sometimes you need to hear them twice. <laughs> okay. I'm just wetting myself you are. more than you at the moment. Well, yeah. Now we're going over to Channel 5's Posh Hotels. And it's <laughs> Sally and Nigel. Sounds like a great show, doesn't it? <laughs> It seems that Nigel is really getting the uh, deluxe package in the spa. Your balls are nicely being warmed in the cabbie at the moment. Thank you very much. I don't want a couple of cold balls. No, we don't want cold no. balls. When your massage is completed, we'll present your balls in a bag for you to take home. Thank you very much. I'm delighted. So to you in a, a bag. I think it's a mixture of hearing about balls and getting spat in the face. Yeah. Uh, uh, just... What are you going to say here? Yeah. I'm going to go to that spa. When your massage is completed, we'll present your balls in a bag for you to take home. Thank you very much. I you like the device. spa. And you can take them home. Halfway through Inu de Bingo with Catherine Ryan on Radio 1. Uh, how are we feeling? Good, yes. How are you feeling, more to the point, Catherine? First time playing the game. Do you know what, Chris? I'm ha so happy that it's you. Yeah. Uncharacteristically, I've had a long day outside and this is um, a fun game. Good, I'm good. glad you're so bad at it. Good. Okay. Right. Thanks to Ricky, who emailed in the next one. We're off to the Archers. And it seems as Radio 4 look for a younger audience, they're really spicing up the storylines in Ambridge. <laughs> oh. oh, this is tricky to get off. Yeah, I'm not sure I can do it. Oh. Yeah, I, 
I think it's nearly there. Oh, right, I'll get the bowl ready and the newspaper too in case it splashes. Right, right, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, good heavens. <laughs> That was ridiculous. What was that? The arches? I don't even, I don't even know what they're doing. It's on the arches. Yeah. Oh, my word. Okay, a classic next. And we're going to one of my personal favourites. It's, oh. uh, it's Bargain Hunt. And presenter Tim Monacott is very revealing when it comes to the exploits of one particular antiques dealer. This lovely manor in Gloucestershire was home to the collector Charles Paget Wade. As a boy, his grandmother would let him peek into her Chinese cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> um, such a good innuendo. That's the best one. I'm calling it my Chinese cabinet from now on. As a boy, his grandmother would Just let him peek okay. into her Chinese okay. cabinet. Ooh. Thank you to Liam who emailed the next one in. And it's back to your parents' favourite station, BBC Radio 4. And on any answers, one listener is absolutely disgusted at Tony Blair. And it's easy to see why. Tony Blair, intelligent man, could deal with these issues, could understand the complexities. Unfortunately, he's shot his bolt over Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> Ball over Iraq. Oh, wow. Mm. He's shot his bolt over Iraq. <laughs> Do you know, you should have, like, a less appealing liquid guys, because like I what? enjoy water and I swallow it sometimes. If you had like maybe a white wine from this year, I'd yeah. spit that right out. Maybe that's how we move this forward. Bring on the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, it's Holby City on BBC One, and it seems this patient owes her spell in hospital to a very careless milkman. Uh-uh. Right, um, what happened? I went up the back of a milkman. Mm. Made a huge mess. Oh dear. It was his fault. He just pulled out. Oh. Oh. oh, just there we <laughs> it's, are. it's down. No, a bit more. Certain powering getting other people wet. Good enough. I feel bad. Catherine Ryan, thank you. Bring the towels. Yes. Ah. Bingo. Bingo. Thank you. Such a fun game, refreshing. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button to make sure you get all the biggest and best videos from BBC Radio 1 straight away. And as we are a radio station, don't forget you can now listen to Radio 1 anytime by downloading the BBC Sounds app. Bingo.